welcome to hopefully a dumpster diving video. Happy Father's Day to all the dads, especially to my amazing husband. It's really late. It's 10 o'clock and I'm just now leaving to go diving. I wanted to come out on this night because last week I went out and there was like nothing. It was like everything got emptied the night before. So I was like, okay, next week I'm going to go out on this day of the week and hopefully we'll have some luck then. That's what I'm hoping for. So we are going to cross our fingers and hope and pray that we have some luck. Let's head on out to these dumpsters and do the dang thing. First dumpster of the evening, Dollar General. Some chips and I'm hoping there's some other stuff maybe in these bags. Let's close these lids and head on to the next. We're at the next Dollar General. I'm pretty sure that bag is full of stuff. I'm so excited. <laughs> I have been coming to this dumpster for months and I haven't found a thing. Oh my God, I just looked right at the flashlight. Good Lord, I blinded myself. Oh yeah. That's way too sliced open. I don't know what's been in there, but we got a perfectly good vanilla sugar candle. Now let's check and see if there's anything in here. Oh, I see paper towels. Oh my gosh, there's clothes, light bulbs. There's an open bag of Chex Mix and another open bag of chips. But everything else in there looks to be good. Oh, please don't rip. Yeah, that's what happened. <laughs> <laughs> I also found some freezer pops or pop ice, whatever. Beth and I used to find so much in this dumpster. And I was like, I know I'm missing it. The garbage men are picking it up before I can get to it. So super excited. We're at home goods. It looks like we got some artwork there. I don't know if these pictures are any good. I think they're all missing the handle. There's a little orchid or lily, whatever that is. It's a lot of broken stuff. It's looking like, but I definitely want these because these are cute. Only one's broken. Yep, we're taking that. Certainly are. And I mean, you could even find another square mirror and put it in the center. Yeah, see, all those pictures, those pink pictures, all the handles are broke, so that's a no-go. Yep, uh, that is super cute. Not going to do my full route tonight because it is so late already. Like, the two main towns that I go to, well, three main towns I go to, they are not going to have anything this night. Well, for the most part, they're not going to have anything. I mean, they might, but I don't want to be out till 5 a.m. <laughs> we are at Aldi's. This is an Aldi's um, that I have never checked. It's a new one. Sorry, you're shaking. I'm trying to hold three things at once. The food in here is spoiled because it was 80 degrees today, but check this out. It's a little, um, what are them things called? <laughs> a wind blower thing. And I don't know if it's broken. I don't think it is. So I'm gonna try and get it for Beth's mom. She loves those kind of things. Oh, her dad could definitely I get a lot of questions why I don't check Aldi's and the reason why is because all the Aldi's near me destroy everything. There was a few times I found like toilet paper or paper towels or some vegetables or whatever but for the most part they destroy it all. So 
that would be why. We are at a Dollar General. Holy flipping racks. Oh, yeah. One of you guys had said, why don't you take those bins that are stackable with the zigzag lids? I don't want to take anything unless it's in a dumpster. I just wouldn't feel right taking those. Dollar General takes those back on their truck, so... I just don't feel comfortable doing that. Anyway, this Dollar General hasn't given up the goods in quite some time. Again, because I've been missing the day before garbage pickup. Holy guacamole! Oh my god, is that... Oh, it's fabuloso. Oh man, I can't take that. <laughs> it's on recall. But I think that's detergent down there. Underneath it. Shut the front door, guys. Shut the front door! What's in here? Anything good? Are those used paper towels or new paper towels? Hold on. Those would be used paper towels, Shannon. Let's see what we can pull out of this bad boy, shall we? Oh, I'm going to get my sweatshirt on. It's getting cold now. Took it off because I was sweating like a you-know-what in church. <laughs> I really hope that's not going to in there. Like a whole case of it. I would be so fucking excited. Y'all don't even know. I see some other stuff down there. I think we got more cleaning stuff. Oh, I see other boxes in here. It's a whole case of laundry soap. Oh my gosh. We knew this was going to be a good night. I knew it. Brand new duster, baby. With a backup duster. Snuggle. Oh, snap. There's boxes in here, guys. thinking this fabuloso should be okay now. I mean, that was on recall how many months ago? I'm going to take it because I think they threw it out because one leaked. I'm pretty sure that's why. I knew I had a good feeling about this night. <laughs> I'm so excited. That is so many cleaning products. It is in flip insane. That is crazy. All right, let's go check a few more and then that's gonna wrap up this dive because I'm not gonna check my whole route, like I said, because I think it would be pointless because I know a lot of the other towns that I do towards the end of every dive, I know they're not going to have anything. So I'm not even going to waste the gas or the time. But I'm hoping the next few towns are still going to be good. So let's go see. Oh my gosh. I have never in my, how many years have I been dumpster diving? Way too many for me to remember right now. Have I ever seen a skunk in a dumpster until just now? I've never ran so fast in my freaking life. I really wish I would have had that on camera. Oh my gosh. <laughs> I peeked in and was like, ah! <laughs> Thank God he didn't spray me. Could you imagine? <laughs> I go home and be like, babe, I got sprayed by a skunk. <laughs> be like you're sleeping outside <laughs>
Oh, goodness. Anyway, <laughs> let's go check a couple more in this town, and then we're going to head on to the next. Let's hope I don't encounter any more skunks. Eight hours later. This is the last dumpster. I am falling asleep driving, so I need to get home. This is a Dollar General with a jacked up fence. Make sure there ain't no dang skunks in here. Nothing but cold stuff, so that's a no-go. But listen, we got so much out of that $1 general, it don't even matter. I mean, we got some pretty cool stuff, so I ain't even mad at it. I left everything out from the last full reveal, so I need to organize that because Tara's going to be coming. So we'll get all that stuff together in the next clip. and Miss Tara is on her way. So all that organizing I did yesterday, I am now gonna bring it all out here because, well, it's just easier this way because she backs her car in and we just load it up. And I went to my PO box today. Oh my gosh. You guys are absolutely amazing. Wait until you see the amount of packages <laughs> I have in my game room. It's, it's just crazy. So, all right, I gotta get a move on it, bring all this stuff out for Miss Tara, and once she gets here, load up her ride. from the dumpster. There's actually nothing here that was a donation yet. Sorry, it's super sunny. All the packages that I just picked up, we will have a live donation opening next week for, and then all of those will go to Tara next week. So she's gonna have a ton of stuff, which is always a good problem to have. <laughs> And that is everything. Uh, I'm pretty sure we are gonna fill Tara's car yet again. I mean, this is just two weeks of diving and this does not include any of the soda or other food that I took to the food bank last week. So you have to remember, I had a huge carload full 
I mean, that just blows my flippin' mind. Does it blow your flippin' minds? Cause it blows my flippin' mind. Anyway, let me take y'all in and show you the astrocity <laughs> that is now my game room, which is filled with your donations. You guys are absolutely the best. Thank you so much. Let's go see the damage you guys wow. did. This was actually touching almost to the ceiling because I had all of Tara's stuff over here in the corner. I was like, this is gonna fall and it's gonna end up busting me in the head. So, <laughs> cause that's my luck. After I took everything out for Tara, I took some stuff and put it down on the ground here because we all know how clumsy I am. I don't wanna get knocked out today. <laughs> <laughs> but look at how much stuff there is. It's just like Tetris. I have stuff in the tiniest little spots over there. <laughs> you guys are just so absolutely kind, so generous, not even with donating, just with your words. You guys leave some of the sweetest comments for me and it truly touches me. Like, thank you guys so, so much. Please don't mind me. I know I look a sweaty gross mess, but we just had to load all the donations into Tara's car and every single thing fit. The very first dumpster I went to was a Dollar General, but of course, um, some Chester's popcorn and some soda and cereal. It wasn't a lot. It was just warming me up to find all the goodies that I found in the rest of the Dollar Generals, which is flipping nuts. Look at the amount of stuff I found. Technically, just two Dollar Generals is where we found almost all of this, which is absolutely nuts. In the second Dollar General that I went to, I found that grab bag. There was so much amazing stuff in that bag, guys. Pop ice, a vanilla sugar candle, two black folders, a notebook, two packages of watercolor paints, a sports bra, a six pack of argan oil for your hair. Like why they threw that out? I don't fucking know, but they did. And we got it. <laughs> An olive oil hair treatment, some plastic bowl covers, a 10 pack of women's socks. Yes, women's socks just thrown in the trash. I don't know, don't ask me. OxyClean bathroom cleaner and Comet. Two pairs of women's galay. <laughs> what? Gray leggings. <laughs> I gave up. A girl size 10, 12 leggings with little hearts. Hydrogen peroxide. K cups. Hazelnut coffee creamer. Cream of mushroom soup. Lint roller. Cream grape juice. Two alarm clocks. Sandwich baggies. A roll of paper towels. Tampax tampons, and this cute little wall decor. I don't know what these things are called. Is it a windmill? I don't know. It's one of them wind thingies, y'all know. But I thought it was broken. It isn't. I just had to put it back together. It works perfectly fine. I have no idea why they threw it out, but Beth's mom will absolutely love it. And then, of course, we stopped at Home Goods. There was so much in that dumpster that was destroyed. But I managed to save this little three-piece mirror set, which of course the middle one is missing a mirror, but you could go to Michael's or Joann's and buy a square mirror and glue it on there. <laughs> like it would probably cost like a dollar or two tops. And lastly, of course, we got this little lily or orchid. I don't know what the heck plants are. Okay, I am not a gardener. <laughs> oh my word. We went to that Dollar General, guys, and I was just pulling stuff out that dumpster like it was nobody's business. I cannot believe how much I got out of that dumpster. We got a duster with an extra little duster thingy, whatever you call those. All of this laundry soap, all of the Fabuloso, which it's not on recall. That box just had one that leaked. So that is why they threw it out. We also got some pumpkins, some snuggle decor pieces. All of this LA's totally awesome laundry pre-wash. A whole case of this pun, penale. <laughs> Not even gonna try it. Yeah, this stuff, which is pine scented multi-purpose cleaner. Two pairs of readers and some men's black and white socks. Let us not forget all of these mystery boxes. Any guesses what's in them? Put your guesses down below. Let's see if you're right. So we have three 
that I believe are all the same. Let's open these bad boys up and see what we got. It's Easter grass. Oh, that is awesome. There's another one. And there you have it. Three 12 packs of Easter grass. Let's see what we got. Oh. <gasps> Easter baskets, no flipping way. These are going to be perfect for next year. So how cool is that? We got Easter grass and Easter baskets. Tara will be able to hold that stuff at the diaper bank because it doesn't take up a lot of room. So she won't have a problem holding on to that until next year, which is great. All right, and last but not least, I found a box of candles. They were $9, shut the front door. Oh, $6. <laughs> I read it upside down. That's a little better. I was like, $9 for a little dinky little candle? They are out there, daggone mine. Both of the lemon ones are broken. Not a big deal, I'll cut them into wax melts. And both of the pink ones are perfectly fine. I did want to take a minute and thank you guys so very much for your prayers. Please keep them coming. I'm not going to disclose any more information yet. We're still waiting on information ourselves. So um, just keep those prayers coming, guys. I truly, truly appreciate them so very much. But that is going to do it for this video. Thank you guys so very much for hanging out with me at the dumpsters. And today and yesterday in the reveal. I, of course, will talk to you all in those comments down below. And until next time, happy diving.